This video was sponsored by One Nest Studios. Elevate your sound. If you're looking for a studio that is reasonably priced to record your music, podcasts, etc., then you cannot go wrong with One Nest Studios. Contact the number down below or the email address or visit their website for more details. Thank you. Hi, this is my review or versus match between two similar made products. On the left here, we have the GoPro Fusion Grip, which is somewhat similar to the GoPro Max. And on this side, and I cannot pronounce the actual company, so I'm gonna show it to you there. And it's called the Trident Pro Grip. We go around the boxes, the GoPro grey and blue box, the Trident, and I'll call it that from now on, the Trident is in a white box which just shows the, tri the actual unit itself along with the GoPro. That's how they look on the side and on the back. It basically gives you like GoPro shows your line diagram and how to adjust it while the Trident actually shows you photographs, how to adjust it on the back and extend the legs. Now to save confusion, I've actually attached cameras to these handles. And the first one up here is the GoPro. So the GoPro F um, Fusion Grip has a GoPro Max on it. And the Trident Pro has a GoPro 8 on there. So that's how you're gonna tell the difference throughout the video. Now, as you can see, they look very similar to each other. Um, the GoPro, the Fusion Grip here, has this kind of sculpted um, dog out here, if you want to say, on the tops of each of the legs here with the branding of the word GoPro down the side on one of the legs. And on the Trident, it doesn't have a kind of sculpting as the GoPro, but these sections here are raised around on each leg and has a bulbous type bottom while the GoPro Fusion Grip here has a kind of flatter bottom. The Trident Pro, out, the, out, out of the box, you get the handle, you get this nice kind of velvet type case with a lanyard attachment here, with adjustable lanyard attachment with it. You also get this phone mount, which spring-loaded felt back here and rubber ends, so you get that in there. And also you get this wrist lanyard with an adjustment. The GoPro Fusion Grip, also with the Max Grip as well, all you get is just the handle and the actual pole. That's all you get. Now, this is the Fusion Max Grip here, fully extended out. Now, when fully extended from the very top of the mount to the very bottom of the handle, it extends to 22.5 inches, but I don't normally count that. So, to me, the true extension is at the top of the handle and at the bottom of the mount, and between these two points, it is 13 and a half inches. And with the Fusion Grip here, it has a matte black finish on the stem, which comes out into three sections. A nice rubber handle on the bottom. And also each section has plastic collars on there, which are colored the same color as the actual stem. It uses a twist lock motion to lock it in place. So it's basically um, anti-clockwise -clock to release it and anti-clockwise to lock it up. On three of the legs here, we have, um, it's rubber on all of the legs, but on three of the legs, we have this kind of grippy rubber on two legs and then a smooth rubber on the third leg, which has the logo. Um, when the legs are 
spread out they they spread out it does have a kind of wide footprint on there and to close them back up they have this it's hard to get on camera but I'll try they have this kind of small uh, magnet on each leg which helps them keep them together so which is quite good I like that uh, at the top here we have the typical GoPro mount and this is made out of plastic and it has this kind of closed nut here for the top Trident um, Pro and the Trident Pro is so similar to the GoPro Fusion Grip now the length of the Trident Pro from the very top to the very bottom is only 22 uh, inches so it's less it's half an inch less than the uh, fusion grip now between the points here at the end of the bay at the end of the mount to the top of the handle between these two points it's only a half an inch difference which is 13 while the fusion grip was 13.5 so only a half an inch difference on the both of them now this uses the same kind of motion as the Fusion Grip, it's a twist lock um, system but with this one it uses um, clockwise to lock it and anti-clockwise to um, release it. Same three sections as the Fusion Grip here and it has the same kind of um, plastic colours coloured in black as the Fusion Grip. The actual paint on the stem seems a little bit shinier than the fusion grip not that much just a little bit shinier than the fusion grip the feet here the legs as i stated before in the at the beginning of the video it has a bulbous type bottom um, with a kind of rubber feet on the end it does have this kind of mag magnet in there as you can see on either side that locks these into place just like the fusion grip now as for the rubber while the fusion grip had two legs with a kind of um, grippy feel a wavy feel on them for grip and one leg smooth all these legs are smooth but they have rubber so it has the same kind of rubber as the fusion grip but um, just smooth now at the top for the mount here same as the fusion grip it is in plastic uh, not metal and it's not removable so you can't take this off and also you get the thumb screw with it along with as i showed you in the in the video earlier on with the um, phone and with the phone holder and also with the little pouch as well with me on this because i'm gonna have to show you the bottom of these now when you splay these out this is the fusion grip here for a start off it's going to be a bit difficult to see so if i try and come out the way put up against that white background as you can see there's a little loop at the top to fix a lanyard on the fusion grip now on the trident pro and it's going to be absolutely difficult to get it but there is a little hole here to fit the lanyard and also you get a quarter inch thread so you can actually put this uh, onto a tripod if you wanted to or put it onto another pole to extend it even further for fully outstretched the trident in this hand and the fusion in this hand they look very similar they feel very similar I'd say for grippiness I'd give it slightly to the fusion for grip because it's got those ripples on two of the legs on the rubber but if you're not fussed about that the the trident pro is just feels as solid as the fusion as the fusion here <laughs> it's hard to do this when you're looking at a camera but it just feels as solid as the fusion the trident does so in the hand they both feel all right and as I, as I stated before the circumference of the both of them is just a little over an inch on the two of them and they just feel and um, they don't feel any different as grippiness in your hand just a slight little bit more 
I'd say with the Fusion. Two of them look on the floor, um, when you use it floor standing, or even on a desk, or any surface that you're gonna put them on. To me, the Fusion has a slight wide footprint than the Trident Pro, only by slight, um, not much. I'd say that half an inch than, than the um, Trident Pro. They basically sit roughly the same in the angle of the legs, of just a bit roughly the same they are. Um, the middle stem is near the ground on the both of them. So this middle stem here where it comes down doesn't recede up, it stays as it is. And they're both roughly at the same level uh, on these. But looking at the tops of them, you can, for some reason, it could be because of the camera here, but the Trident does look a bit taller, not only by a fraction, it looks a bit taller, but it could be because of the different cameras that are situated on them, it makes it, gives that appearance. But they both are very, very similar items. And for the price, the Trident was $27.99 for the Trident. That This is off Amazon, it may be a bit cheaper now. And the Fusion Grip was at $46.99 for that off Amazon. My two pence worth on the GoPro Fusion Grip and the Trident Pro. I'll start off with the GoPro first. And I'll, this is the negatives first. Now the greatest negative to me with the Fusion Grip, and I think I said this with the Max Grip as well, because they're very similar in design, it's the price. The price is the negative. Now, there are other companies out there that are making similar items. I think I had one, I done a review on the Sun Sun, or Sun Sun, um, four in one, they call it the four in one, which was very similar to this. And what was half the price of the GoPro, it was even less than the price of the Trident Pro actually. Very much built the same way. So it's the price is the biggest negative. Um, you could call it a negative if you want. They could have made the tops of these where the actual fingers are on both items. They could have made that in metal then rather than keep it in plastic. Because these are not intended to float. So if you're gonna bring them into large bodies of water like the sea, swimming pool, lakes, etc., they're not suited for that. These are strictly dry land stuff. This is, <laughs> that, that's what they're really for. But that's the only, I'd say, big negative. The other ones could be little if you want. Um, they could have carried on around the GoPro with this kind of swirly um, stroke um, pattern on each leg, but they only kept it to two um, and let that leg be smooth. So that could be a negative, but some people don't, wouldn't mind that. Uh, another thing is when you open up the legs here, even though the legs are quite good and made of thick plastic, they could, instead of putting a lanyard, they could have done what the Trident Pro done, was put a separate hole to the side here and then give you a quarter inch thread. So you can at least attach this to another, uh, to a, another tripod or even to another selfie stick to increase its length if you wanted. But as I says, some will see, it, will see that as a negative, some wouldn't care and to see it as a positive that you can't do that. So that's um, my thoughts on this. Um, the positives on this, on the GoPro Fusion Grip is, I like the diameter of the actual grip, it's nice and grippy in your hand. Um, these kind of groove dog outs, what they've done there, it seems to fit nice with your thumb in there. Uh, I like how they used the this kind of black plastic on each section here and this kind of nice finish on there and it, it does feel robust in your hand and it feels like it could take a beating. The Trident Pro, I'll start off with the negatives first. Um, the first negative, which is probably going to be for some people but not for others, is probably the legs. The legs are just as thick, so 
and I'm gonna get questions asked. They're just as thick as the Fusion Grip and they do feel solid in your hand. The whole thing feels solid in the hand as the Fusion Grip, but the negative has to be the rubber here. It's while the Fusion Grip only has smooth rubber on one leg, this has smooth rubber on all three legs. Now, to me, that's a negative. To some people, they don't mind that, and that's a positive. So that's a half and half with that. Basically, it's roughly the same when it comes to the Fusion Grip along with this Trident Pro, is that they could have made the top here out of metal rather than plastic. And that's the only kind of negative what I could think, what I can come across with this particular product. Positives of the Trident Pro, it feels just as good and solid as the Fusion Grip and as the Max that I can remember, it just feels just as solid as that. Um, I like how when you open that out, open the legs out, you have got a quarter inch screw thread, female screw thread there, along with a hole for the lanyard, which the Fusion, Fusion hasn't got, but this has got, which is quite nice. And one thing I did notice, and I have to put an apology on this, while the Fusion Grip extends out to three sections, this extends out to four. <laughs> so I am apologizing for that if I said it only extends out to three sections. It extends out to four sections, which puts this slightly taller than the Fusion Grip. Sorry about that, that's my clock. Which makes it slightly taller than the Fusion Grip. So it is a little bit taller, it's probably about an inch or so taller than the Fusion Grip. It's not that much. In, in there. Um, the same as the Fusion Grip, I like how they use these black plastic. Um, what you could throw as a negative is the, probably the, the coating, what they use on the stem. The stem is the same thickness as a Fusion Grip, but the, it's a bit shinier on this than the Fusion Grip, but it's up to your preference if you'd like a more shinier stem or a more dull looking stem than the Fusion Grip. Any of the, uh, any one of these two, which is the Fusion Grip or the Trident Pro, please leave your comments down in the comment section what you thought about it because your opinions are different to my opinions. So just please leave them down in the comments section. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I totally understand my videos can be long but i'd rather go into detail about what i'm reviewing to save you the hassle or when you get that product at least you know what to expect from that product and you can say yeah that guy on youtube yeah he was saying about that and he was right anyway oh yes please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching